Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a collaboration project with my friend Dave over at his YouTube channel, Toy Poloi, where he reviews vintage Star Wars figures, Transformers and other toys. Dave's a bit of a CAD designer, so he sent me some files he wants me to 3D print. And I'm going to send them back to him and we're going to see what he's going to do with them. So here are the objects Dave has designed. I believe he's using 3D Studio Max and he sent these over to me by email. So we've got two objects here. One is um, a kind of interesting box looking shape. Both objects have a hole through the middle. So there's a, a hole uh, vertically through the middle of the box and the other object which is a kind of lump. And the uh, box of course has some sections on it and they've both got flat bottoms so we can print them. So um, we're gonna slice those up and print them on my Lulzbot Taz. And then we're gonna do some post-processing with a chemical smoothing process. And then we'll send them back to Dave. So here are the two parts we've printed. Obviously we've got the cube shape there with its features and we've got the uh, white blob item. So we can see the build lines in that. Um, I'm actually gonna acetone smooth these. So uh, generally the process is to put these in a pot with acetone vapor in which you get by boiling acetone in a tin and the vapor eats away at the ABS plastic and smooths all of the lines out. And we're not going to go overboard with these, but we're going to try, them, try to get them a bit more glossy and shiny. But I'm not going to boil acetone. I've had quite a lot of success without boiling acetone and just doing it cold. So what I've got in this pot is some acetone. Um, it's an acetone safe pot, fortunately, so it won't melt itself. Um, I've done this before in much bigger containers for the lid of my Mr. Fusion project, for instance. Um, and I pinned paper towels around the inside of the jar or the container with magnets soaked in acetone. That was quite a big piece, it was nearly eight inches across or actually slightly bigger than that. Um, for these are much smaller, so I've got a much smaller container. Um, obviously if I just pop them in there, I've already put some acetone in here, you can just see the liquid. Um, I won't leave the lid off too long because it evaporates quite quickly. Um, so basically the plan is I'm going to put this other lid in from another acetone safe container, like a little boat that floats in there and we're going to put the item on top of that so that the item is, isn't actually in the acetone, otherwise it will just dissolve. So we're going to put the lid on, do these one at a time so the colours don't bleed because the uh, vapour will dissolve the plastic. Obviously one is black and one is white, so we don't want black on our white. And we'll leave that there for a few hours and come back to it and see how it's doing. Okay, so several hours later, we're just going to open the pot now. See how that looks. Hopefully you can see it's nice and glossy and shiny all over. Although we can still just see the build lines. So here are the items. This is the acetone smoothed version that you can see is nice and glossy. I've also got one that uh, hasn't been smoothed. So you can see the difference there. And there is the other blob one which I've also smoothed. It's quite shiny, it's hard to see uh, if we can get the light to reflect off it. And there's a couple of Star Wars figures for scale. So that's the sort of size of the things. Right, so I've got all three items. I'm gonna send Dave the unsmoothed box as well as the smoothed one and the white lump. So let's put those in a jiffy bag and we'll post those off to Dave. And now if you click on the link on the screen to Dave's channel, this should take you to the video where you can see what Dave's gonna do with them. I've also put the link in the description to this video for mobile users because apparently annotations don't work. That's all for this time, so don't forget to follow the link and see what these are for.